Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I was debating whether to put this on my Royals channel or my Conspiracy channel. Um, and then I decided to put it in the Conspiracy channel uh, because, yes, we are talking about extended royal family, um, but we're talking about the conspiracy of the royal family members' dem 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 demise. Okay, of course, we're talking about Thomas Kingston. And uh, today it was announced that he um, was unassisted in his unaliving himself. And that's the police are saying, that's it. We're closing the book on it. And uh, that's all it is. He was found with catastrophic head wounds uh, with a um, duen uh, beside him. Now... We all know some other politicians that uh, have had friends around them that have had the same problem. So I want to know, I want to ask the cards, did he unalive himself or did he have assistance unaliving himself? Uh, straight out. Uh, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the yes or no question. Upright, yes. Reversals, no. I'm using the haunted house tarot cards here. And depending what the answer is, is how deep this uh, reading will go. If it's uh, yes, he did have assistance, then we'll continue to read. If the answer is no, then we'll just close that book and uh, and that's what it is. It's just really um, discerning because uh, all his family has uh, have said there's nothing wrong in their marriage. They showed very happy. Uh, he didn't have any depression problems. Um, a little bit about him. Uh, Thomas Kingston, known as Tom Kingston, worked as a hostage negotiator in Iraq. Uh, uh, he had an um, economic degree from University of Bristol before joining the diplomatic missions at the Foreign Office. Uh, he was second to Baghdad as a project manager for the International Center for Reconciliation uh, in 2003, the following year, he cheated death in a suicide bombing in the Iraqi capital that killed 22 people. So was that, was he the intended target back then? Was that the intended target in 2004? He dated um, Catherine's sister for quite a while. And uh, in 2019, he married Lady Gabriella the daughter of Prince Michael of Kent. And Prince Michael of Kent is uh, Charles' cousin. That's Charles' cousin. Um, he is the brother of the Duke of Kent. And I'm sure you've seen him around. If you, if you Google that, you'll, you'll recognize him right away. He's a working royal. Prince Michael of Kent was not a working royal. Uh, therefore, Lady Gabriella was not a working royal. And uh, Tom Kingston was married to Lady Gabriella. And he also was not a working royal. So that's why I decided to do it on my conspiracy channel. What is upright positive reversals negative? Did Tom Kingston have assistance in unaliving himself? This is a good time to remind you, this is a tarot card reading for fun and entertainment purposes only, and everything I read is allegedly and of my own opinion. Uprights positive, reversals negative. Did Thomas Kingston have assistance unaliving himself? Oh, that was a definite drop. Okay. Five of cups in reverse. Two of, um, two. The high priestess in reverse. The empress in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse, the Lovers upright, the Five of Wands upright, and the Hermit in reverse. I'm going to say no, he did not. Um, there might be, you know what? There might be something about his finances that come out in this. Oh, let me swoosh this over so this all fits in. You know what? He was struggling in his marriage. There could have been a third person involved. He was struggling in his, in his marriage here. Uh, he kept his, his feelings and his emotions very well hidden. Very well hidden. Interesting. I want to show you something. There's a third person here. There's a third. There's somebody else here. Look at that. It's almost looking like the same person. 
I'm not saying he was having an affair, but I think um, somebody was aware. Uh, I wonder if they were having difficulties because she couldn't get pregnant. The Five of Cups upright is definitely a depression card, not being able to let go of the past. Uh, but in the reverse, it's almost like um, he decided to let go of the past, but he decided to let go of everything. Uh, King of Wands here in reverse. I don't have a birth date on him, um, but him being in the military. I know he wasn't a military member per se, but hostage negotiation... Uh, diplomatic that would that would be everything with the king of wands there uh, military political um not as much as that for example the king of swords would be a politician um but this is political so like an an envoy or a diplomat uh, that kind of thing um Like the answer is clearly no. It's a strong no. Nobody, there's nobody here that helped him. Um, he was struggling in, in their marriage. He was struggling in the marriage. He had secrets. He had secrets. And I think he had demons that uh, he, he, had, he couldn't live with, especially here with this eight of pentacles in reverse. Um, you know, that could be like, he would, that, that's his work, right? So he could have not been doing well at work, for example. Um, he could have had some PTSD from his work. Um, you know, not necessarily a depression, but a PTSD from some of the things that he had to go through. I mean, he did did miss miss a um, a suicide attempt, a suicide bomber. I mean, that has to live with you. I wonder, though. I mean, they were both in their forties. I don't know how much they wanted to have children at that point. Um, that's why I'm wondering, like, look at this here. I'm wondering if she's pregnant or I wonder if having children was part of their, um, discontentment. Maybe she wanted children and he didn't or vice versa. Um, he had deep, dark secrets, this one, but no, he did, he, what, what, what happened is what they said happened. Uh, he was, he, he had some hidden demons. Um, I wonder if he had, I wonder if, okay, it's not very nice to speak ill of the dead and, and rest in peace, Thomas Kingston. Um, I wonder if somebody else was going to come forward and said, I have his, I've had his baby. I bet that wouldn't be enough to unalive himself. He, he, they'd be able to pay, pay that person off. Well, he was, they were struggling. Don't, don't, uh, don't discount that. I found it very strange that he passed away on Sunday night and we didn't hear about it until Tuesday until um, William missed the, uh, the uh, funeral. And, uh, and his in-laws attended the funeral, which I thought was, and they aren't working royal. So there were some curious things around here that piqued people's interest going like, well, hold it, what's going on here? Uh, he took some deep, dark secrets to the, to the grave, that's for sure. I can guarantee you that. He definitely took some deep, dark secrets to the grave. Um, yeah, don't be surprised. Well, we won't hear, but I was going to say, don't be surprised. Um, if you, we hear through the grapevine that he had money problems or something, something with money or the eight of pentacles in reverse. Uh, I think, uh, I think that's, that, that's a big reason for a lot of men who, uh, who do that. They can't, uh, face failure in some regards. So yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, short and sweet. There you go. There's that. I, I'm sticking with what the cards are telling me. There's no more need to uh, go any further than this. 
Thank you so much for requesting this and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, there's no conspiracy here. Take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>